Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and in this video we're going to be actually doing something a little bit different. We're going to be working on a bridal shower for my sister up in Washington State. It really turned out so beautiful and it was actually rather easy to do so I'll kind of go through each of the parts and how easy it was. If you like this video please like, please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next ones. So first things first, my sister really wanted this like floating chandelier. So all we really did was use like a ribbon, attach it to chicken wire, and then kind of just add in a variety of flowers. Super easy, just remember you kind of have to do it day of because it really does not have like a water supply. Um, and then this kind of bouquet in front of like the area where people take photos wasn't too difficult either. All you really need is like that flower foam. You need to soak it, um, put it in something that kind of helps conserve the water. And then you just add your flowers in. It takes a little bit because you really do want to make it pretty, but it doesn't take that long and it turned out just so beautiful as you can see and then we just added flowers we used tape and we attached the flowers to the bottom we just wanted almost like this garden feel and it was it really was so beautiful just to be able to take photos in front of that i'll see if i can attach one here but um yeah so this just remember that this also doesn't have like a water supply so you really do need to do it day of just so the flowers stay fresh we wanted to add flowers across like the entire living room area across the tablescapes and across the windowsills. So what we did was we got these little vases and just added a couple of flowers to each one. These stayed fresh a lot longer because they do have a water supply, but look how beautiful they are. We just kind of put them around. You'll see the windowsills outside, the tables. And then in the midst of that, we also added um, different candles. We wanted like the pillar candles and the tapered candles and it almost created like this um, like dreamy vibe you'll see especially as it got darker outside and it was more into the evening and nighttime we believe that it just became progressively more beautiful So my sister actually owns a company up in the Pacific Northwest, kind of based out of Vancouver, Washington. It's called Amore Events Design, and she just does beautiful, beautiful work. I know she does a lot of like weddings and little events, kind of like bridal showers and things like that. So um, yeah, I love her work. I feel like she doesn't just stay with one style, she kind of caters to every one like kind of what they want because I was very surprised um, for her bridal shower what she wanted with the multicolored and kind of the garden feel I was just very surprised um, based on like the weddings I've seen her do but it was kind of cool to see her creativity kind of spark in like a different way so I'm a big fan you'll kind of see how this turned out it was just it was just wonderful to see so for food, we considered having it catered, but then we just decided to make it even simpler. We decided to do it almost like a serve yourself, like a bar style. So we set out like little sandwiches that they could make based on like the meats that they wanted and the fillings that they wanted. And then lots of salads and dips and um, desserts and fruits and all of those types of things. It was actually really, really simple to do. Um, and then everyone just kind of picked and chose what they wanted specifically. So we thought that that was super simple and it worked out very, very well. And then for games, we just printed out a few. We wanted to pick games that allowed everyone to mingle and that worked out wonderfully because um, we felt like 
there was a few different groups there, so allowing people to mingle was really going to be um, beneficial for us. Outside turned out beautiful. I actually managed to get away for a little bit and to let my son explore the Pacific Northwest and the greenery. I know there's so many beneficial things about having your kids explore outside. The more time they spend outside, the more their creativity blooms. So that is something we try to do more often than not is kind of get our kid outside and let him explore. As you can see, as the night went on, um, the candles kind of gave off like this dreamy garden vibe. We loved it. I know all the girls loved it. So I hope it gives you guys some ideas. It doesn't have to be too hard to do for a bridal shower. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you on my next one.